Good afternoon, Your Excellency Andrew Pierce, Governor of Montserrat, Honorable Joseph Taylor Farrell, Premier of Montserrat, Dr. the Honorable Samuel Joseph, Deputy Premier and Minister of Communication, Works, Energy and Labor, Honorable Charles Kernan, Minister of Education, et al. Honorable Veronica Dorset Hector, Parliamentary Secretary. Bishop Dr. Melroy Mead. Mrs. Daphne Castle, Permanent Secretary in the Office of the Premier. Mr. Ralston Patterson, Director of Public Works. Mr. Joseph Irish, Airport Manager. Mr. Adrian Galloway and other representatives of the gallery group or contractor, specially invited guests, colleagues, and the media. Welcome and thank you for joining us to celebrate the groundbreaking for the new air traffic control tower. As we mark the beginning of construction, we are heartened that this project will enhance Montserrat's resilience and economic growth prospects. Specifically, we will have a new and improved facility that will maintain the airport certification, allowing for appropriate air access to Montserrat. This new tower is expected to help traffic controllers' ability to manage the aerodrome and enhance air access safety into and out of Montserrat. This is all good news for us as we grapple with the daily challenges of our times. So it is good news that we are breaking ground on this tower project and we will have remarks from several key persons who have worked to make to their reality. But before we go any further, I will invite Bishop Dr. Melroy Mead to invoke God's presence here this afternoon. Let's bow our heads prayerfully. Gracious God, we thank you for this new day, for this moment, whereby our hopes and our dreams and aspirations are being lifted to another level, we pray, God, that this afternoon's activity will receive your blessing, and that all that is to be said and done, that heaven would be glorified, Montserrat shall be blessed, and that, oh God, we would enjoy the benefits that will be derived from this evening's activity. We now commit everything into your hands now, and we declare your blessings in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much, Bishop. This time, I'd like to invite Mr. Ralston Patterson to make some brief remarks and tell us a bit about this project. Recognizing the protocol that has already been established, it is my pleasure to bring you brief remarks on this auspicious occasion, not only as the Director of Public Works, but also on the behalf of my MCWLE colleagues and other supporting ministries. We have worked tirelessly in ensuring that we can achieve another milestone in the development of Montserrat, and I think that it deserves a round of applause. It is very significant that despite of the unprecedented challenges being faced as a nation, we are still able to take another step forward with the commencement of the construction of this new air traffic control tower project. We are here to witness this groundbreaking ceremony 
and the breaking of a new record. This tower, upon completion, will stand as one of the tallest concrete buildings ever to be constructed in Montserrat in this new dispensation. It will feature a total height of approximately 60 feet and it will cover over five stories tall. And it will include a state-of-the-art air traffic control cabin at the top. With the provisions for the installation of an, of an elevator in the future. For me, this speaks volume, as the structure will stand as a beacon for all to see, and a pillar that signifies that the strength and resilience of the people of Montserrat. The journey has been a long one, starting in 2015 with the aeronautical study. In 2017, there was the submission of a business case for the financing of the project, followed by the design works, the tender processes, and the contract negotiations. Critical thinking and foresight allowed us to purchase the prefabricated cabin prior. And it is already here on the site, ready to be installed once the concrete shaft is completed. Despite the many challenges, by the grace of God, 2021, we are here today to mark another milestone. Our ministry stands resolute in providing technical support, the technical support required for the completion of this project along with the professionalism of our local counterparts. As I give way to our distinguished leaders to give their remarks, it is our endeavor that upon completion of this project, that the John A. Osborne Airport will move a step closer in maintaining its certification of operation. Uh, there will be improvements in the functionality of the facility and the airport continues to play, as the airport continues to play, a vital role in providing adequate access to Montserrat. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. At this point in time, I'd like to invite Mr. Adrian Galloway, representative of the Galloway Group, to make some remarks. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is indeed a wonderful moment to finally witness shovels being put into the ground to commence the construction of this very important project. There are many people who have been toiling and planting the seeds with the aim of improving the lives and the livelihoods of the people of Montserrat. The power of people working together as a team is nothing short of spectacular. The commencement of this construction facility is a tangible demonstration of the commitment of the government and people of Montserrat towards improving access to the island. And also, it is a significant investment in our infrastructure. Coincidentally, um, next week, Friday, is actually going to mark a year since we submitted a tender um, for this project. And we signed the, um, the contract a few weeks ago, and now we're having the groundbreaking ceremony. In my view, the gallery group is extremely fortunate, and we are honored and humbled to be able to participate in the construction of this very important project. Over the duration of this project, we anticipate that we will put in place over 170 cubic yards of concrete. We will put in place perhaps over uh, in excess of 35,000 pounds of concrete, and we'll be putting in place you know, a lot of other materials, fixtures, and fittings. Even with the aggressive construction schedule and all the other factors that influence the rate of construction of any construction project, it is our pledge to work diligently to ensure that the handover dates is not missed. It is also our pledge to ensure that the quality of the workmanship and all the finishes are of a high standard. 
We at the Gallery Group would like to thank the general public for their support, advice, and their expressions of goodwill. We are committed to excellence on the island, and we are extremely fortunate that we were given another opportunity to, make, to be involved in a project that would make Montserrat a more habitable place for all its residents. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Mr. Galloway. We look forward to uh, the groundbreaking and the completion of the project in good time. Now, I'd like to invite the, on, the Premier, the Honorable Joseph Taylor Farrell, who is the Minister with Responsibility for Passenger Access and Tourism, to make some remarks. <laughs> Interesting. Good afternoon, everyone. Permit me to accept the protocol that has been established and to say how happy I am to be part of this experience as we break ground for the new airport terminal, sorry, airport control tower. I hope we get a new one soon. Um, to manage an airport effectively, one of the components that is required is, uh, in effect, if a good airport um, control tower. And we recognize that one was built a few years ago. Now that we have, um, we have the, the, the ability or the capacity to build a new one, I want to encourage us to work along with the Gallery Group. I'm sure we will. However, it is important that this construction begin at this time, especially the time when the world's economic, um, economies are going through a great depression. And for us in Bonstrat, we surely welcome this, this activity where we can create some more jobs and at the same time provide, um, provide some sales for the other business sectors in Bonstrat. So I'm sure that this this component, this construction, will in fact enhance the economic activities over the next few months. In addition to that, the airport servicing, as you heard, will be rolled out. And one can easily, during times of crisis, you can easily blame something. And we could have sat back and blamed COVID and say we didn't do anything else. But I want to thank my team, my, my ministerial team and my peers, uh, my, um, permanent sec my um, permanent secretary and the governor and the FCDO team. During the past months, rather than sitting back and relaxing, or even when the island was shut down, we were working through the, the steering committee to make sure that we advanced the projects that were under the separate program. And this is why we're here today. We just didn't sit back, but we actually met once a month to make sure that we advanced the projects. And that's why we are. We'll be rolling out, shortly rolling out the, the, some of the components of the separate program. Apart from the resurfacing, we shortly will be rolling out the MSS Block l and um, significantly, hopefully, by the end of this year or next year, no, don't, don't hold me to that. The, the new airport, the new um, hospital, don't hold me guilty to that. But it's important that we have these projects rolling out. Now, at this time, while the government continue to develop their own plans and programs for the other for the ensuing years. So I want to encourage us all to work with you. Galway's congratulations. I know that you're going to be working within budget, within time, because we don't have a lot of money. We work with a tight, uh, tight budget line. So I'm hoping that you're working within that framework where you finish, finish on time and within budget. Once again, congratulations, and look forward to seeing your work at the end of the project. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Premier. This time I'd like to invite His Excellency Governor Andrew Pierce, to, who leads on civil aviation matters and regulation of air, air safety. Bit of a saga, that. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Colin. Always slightly nervous when you introduce people by saying they lead on something, because you, you're nervous what you're going to get landed with, but you were, you were fair there, thank you very much. Um, firstly, ladies and gents, if I could, I'd like to wish everyone a really happy and a healthy uh, new year. Um, it's been a really tough one for all of us, the year that's passed. Let's hope this one coming up will be a much kinder one for us all. And uh, as previous speakers have said, let's hope in particular that it's a chance for us to reset and uh, sort of strengthen our roots in life as well. I hope it will be that sort of year for us here in Montserrat and more widely. Um, the, the new control tower really, for me, embodies that spirit or that wish of resetting a bit and strengthening. Uh, we 
we, our air and sea connections here in Montserrat are crucial for us. As an island, they give our economy its key fuel, if not all its fuel, and it's an important sort of psychological reassurance for us as a people on a community on this island to have reliable air and sea connections, whether it's in extremis for the medical evacuations or whether it's keeping in touch with our quite widespread uh, diaspora. And this control tower should absolutely make our airport stronger, uh, taller, with a much better field of vision for our hardworking flight controllers inside, and also hopefully much more resistant to storms. It's done well because the cab part, which I think we can see sitting over there, has actually endured quite a few storms and blasts and blustery days, and fingers crossed it's still holding well. And as the Premier was saying, not to be forgotten at all in all this is the hope that this will be the start of a whole succession of projects this year, which will really help Montserrat uh, find, some, find some economic activity, more economic activity, and help particular corners of the community who've probably had the worst hardship from, from COVID. So uh, this is a testament to uh, UK commitment to Montserrat and to our EU friends. Uh, some of the funding for this in the distant past, I think, came from the EDF as well. So thank you very much to all of them. And uh, as Premier was saying, it's part of our CIPREG program to upgrade Montserrat's infrastructure. We've got several other pro pro uh, projects in the, in, the, in the stream coming through, and this should really uh, herald, a, hopefully, a bit of an economic revival in terms of infrastructure for Montserrat. But above all, it's a huge credit to everybody here, all the teams, it's always invidious to point out particular people, but the Galloway uh, Company, thank you very much for your support and your pledges. Um, the program management office at the back there, uh, the procurement team, the financial side under the under the Premier, Ministry of Public Works, Mr. Patterson, uh, Mr. Fergus. Um, it's been a huge collective effort, and uh, it's really quite something to behold that people have pulled together through these difficult COVID times to do that. It will also be a real first for Montserrat. I know uh, Mr. Patterson was saying it's the tallest building, a bit like the UK's shard. We'll have to stick something on top of it, uh, make it look like a shard. It's got our first lift, or we'll have our first lift, and I'd certainly like to book early for a tryout of that when we get it. Should be quite, quite, quite something for Montserrat, I think. So it's a huge personal thank you from me. And just a thought that um, when we finish this tower, I know we have to make sure there's nothing on it in the daytime to distract our airlines. But at night time, it's ours. The airport's shut down or will be for uh, for the foreseeable future overnight here. Um, so it'd be nice if we could stick a really nice Christmas decoration on it, light it up with a Bethlehem star. Or how about a bright green shamrock or something, just very Montserrat for us, something special on it, on the sky. You'd probably see it from Antigua if we can get it bright enough. So just a thought. But thank you very much, everybody. Brilliant project and well done. Thank you, Your Excellency. Now it's my pleasure to invite Dr. the Honorable Samuel Joseph, who is our Minister in the Ministry of Communication, Works, Labour and Energy, and he has responsibility for airport services and management in his portfolio. Dr. Joseph. Good day, everyone. I have the easy part because all these people have gone before me. So I just need to wrap up. I just need to wrap up what they said. Before I start, as the, the Governor H.E. started, I just want to wish everybody a Happy New Year and hope that they had a very Merry Christmas. Today we're here for the groundbreaking ceremony of our control tower. So before, I, again, before I start, start. If you understand the history of a control tower, before when sailors used to be coming into a country, people used to put fires on top of the mountains so that the sailors can see where the dangers are and where the port is so that they can come in safely. And it has evolved into lighthouses. And in our modern era, it has now evolved into control towers. So we have these structures that, that can guide us where our safe areas are and to keep us away from the danger areas. So as we start 2021, it is very good that we are starting with this project. Not only does it signify that we are now rebuilding Montserrat in terms of our infrastructure, and not only does it symbolize the guidance, guidance of where we are going to go into 2021, 
despite the rough seas that we have in 2020, we are now having a structure to guide us going forward. So following the construction of this tower, we have all these other projects that have been spoken about. We are now going to resurface the, the runway. The Premier said not to hold him to it, but we have the hospital right on the other side there to do. We have our educational facilities to upgrade, and we have all these other projects ongoing. So this tower is a guiding light of where we see Montserrat going in the future and to also warn us of the dangers that are coming. COVID is still around, so we still have to be very careful of how we deal with that. We have to be very careful that we don't become complacent, that we don't get into an issue of complacency, that we don't get into an issue of mediocrity, and that we still drive ourselves forward, that Montserrat can do better. Because when you're driving through a tunnel, you know, we have a short tunnel over there, but assume you had a longer tunnel, and you're in a train and you're going through the tunnel. If you know your destination, even though when you enter the tunnel it becomes dark, you don't jump off of the train. You stay on the train because you understand that there's a destination out there that you're heading towards. So despite the fact that we have gone through 2020 and it has been difficult, and despite throughout certain parts of the world, we see what's happening in the UK, in Barbados, in the US, despite the difficulties that we are seeing, and even in Montserrat, if we have a vision of where we want to go, we're not going to come off the train, but we're going to keep on it because we have an idea of where we intend to go, and we know that we can get there. Because as was pointed out, this tower is going to be the tallest structure on the, in our new dispensation on this side of the island. And notably, the fact that it's going to be constructed by a local company, the local Galway Group, it's a local company that will construct this tower. It is our own people showing that they have the capability of doing things, and we must never lose sight of the fact that although, yes, other people may be out there talking about all these things and what Monsat can or cannot do, but we're going to show by the construction of this tower that we have the capacity to do things. And as Galloway Group pledge, they're going to do it within budget, within time, with all the fixtures and all the things. And we have recorded that pledge, so we have it, that they're going to get that done. <laughs> so we do know that we have the capability of producing these things. So it's not only an infrastructure project that will be constructed on the side there, but it's a beacon symbolically and actually literally of where we can go as a country and where we are going to be going as a country. I must never lose sight of the fact that we can do things. So despite the hardship that has happened in 2020, despite how this year is starting, we do know that better things are going and this tower is going to symbolize that. So by the end of this year, when all these things are happening and Monster is on his bright path, all of us will be on this train heading to the destination we are with this administration and the rest of the country is and are going to be working together to get this deal. So I'm just wishing everybody a happy new year and to stay on the train. At this point in time, we will have blessing of the site and we will call again on Bishop Dr. Melroy Mead to make that prayer. Just before I um, do the blessing, I want to ask the persons who would be responsible for the breaking of the um, ground or the turning of the sod that you would um, get the necessary tools so we can move that forward in just a moment. The heavens, oh God, are yours. The earth and all that there is in it. This ground already belongs to you. And as we break ground at this moment, as we turn the sod, I now declare this ground blessed in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And amen. amen. Let's give them a good cheer, please.
And again, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has come and for special thanks to Bishop Dr. Melroy Mead for in blessing the soil. At this point in time, I'd like to invite the airport manager, Mr. Joseph Irish, to move a vote of thanks. And that will be the end of this afternoon's proceedings. Pleasant afternoon to all. Today is a monumental day for everyone of us. Not just a brick and mortar milestone for the Johnny Osborne Airport and by extension Montserrat, but also the result of a major collab collaborative planning effort which require hard work and coordination by many persons, some of whom are here today to share in our celebration. Over the years, many of you have been able to envision the potential for infrastructure partnership that support economic development in Montserrat. This project is an important part of the, our ministry's strategic plan and we are looking forward to a successful completion. It would be remiss of me if I did not thank you all for getting it done now. As you are aware, this is a historic moment for Montserrat development. This brief ceremony was made possible this evening by the contribution of many. I therefore take this opportunity to extend our gratitude. First, I wish to thank our Heavenly Father for allowing us to see this day. I wish to thank the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Communication, Works, Labor, and Energy, Mr. Colin Fergus, for so ably moderating this ceremony. Bishop Dr. Melroy Mead for invoking God's presence and blessing of the site. H.E. the Governor Andrew Pierce, the Honorable Premier Easton Taylor Farrell, the Director of Public Works Ralston Patterson, and Mr. Adrian Galloway of the contracting firm, the Galloway Group, for providing brief remarks on the project. Our featured speaker, the Honorable Deputy Premier and Minister of, Communi of MCWLE, Dr. the Honorable Samuel Joseph. To various agencies that have provided funding for this project, the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, FCDO, and European Development Fund, to Mistress Viona Alexander-Smith and the staff of ZJB Radio for providing coverage of the ceremony, the permanent secretaries and staff of the various ministries in attendance and those who have provided support for this project in any way, we say thank you. The staff of the project management office, Mr. Martin Parlett and Ms. Linda Diaz, who continue to provide tremendous support for this project, we say thank you. The staff of the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, FCDO, to the staff and management of the John A. Osborne Airport, we say thank you. To all staff of MCWLE who has provided support here today and throughout the project, we say thank you especially the architects, the engineers, the quality, the quantity surveyors, and all the other technicians who have supported and continue to support this project. To various media houses that have provided coverage as well. To Ms. Donika Henry, executive officer in the MCWLE, Ensuring that all logistics were in place for this ceremony, we say a hearty thank you. Mr. Ivor Greenaway for providing sound, and Mr. Calvin Lewis for supporting with the tents. To everyone, we say thank you. Have a blessed evening.
Right, and just one last thanks. Thanks to Mr. Joseph Irish for <laughs> moving the vote of thanks. And have a good evening and a wonderful new year, all.